So how do we choose the appropriate definition for W to use? If there's some sort of theory out there about the spatial process that we're studying, then maybe we can let that theory dictate how W should be defined. In most cases in spatial analysis, there is no good theory that tells us how W should be defined. So we tend to pick things like these row, uh, like these rook or queen contiguity cases, or a, a case where we use a distance decay function. All of those cases essentially say, um, sorry, all of those cases are easily understood what we mean or how we embody the spatial pattern, but it doesn't necessarily provide any real strong rationale for, say, why should rook be used and not queen. But at least we know very clearly what is inside the W matrix. So once we know what's inside the W matrix, it's also important to realize that the value of Moran's I is actually quite sensitive to our choice of W. So sometimes what we do, instead of just picking one W matrix, we recompute Moran's I using many different types of W matrices in order to create a sensitivity analysis. And we can see how Moran's I changes with respect to W. In this case, we are trying W matrices where W, where the neighborhood around a point includes more and more of its nearest neighbors. And on the y-axis, we see that the value of Moran's I, the Moran's I statistics, tends to decline as we choose larger and larger neighborhoods. And this is something that we will typically see that as we increase the spatial scale of the neighborhood, the level of autocorrelation is going to get weaker and weaker. So we have to realize that the value of Moran's I that we obtain is at least in part a function of the neighborhood size, and the analysis that we conduct is very much related to the parameters that we choose on the outset. This is an example of Moran's I for dissemination areas. These are like census block groups in Canada in the city of Montreal. Here the color of the, of the map is darker for neighborhoods where English is spoken and lighter where neighborhoods, in neighborhoods where English is spoken less. So we see that the west side of the island of Montreal, so this is what we call the west island, the west side of the island is predominantly English speaking and elsewhere in the region we predominantly have French speaking people, so low English uh, dissemination areas. When we compute a Moran's I using first order uh, Queen's contiguity, we see that we have a Moran's I of 85%, so a very strong and positive Moran's I. When we standardize the Moran's I into a z-score, we have a z-score of 100. So the probability of obtaining this map pattern with this such a strong Moran's I is probably less than 1 in a hundred million. So it's very, very significant, this level of Moran's eye. If instead we change from using a first order uh, polygon contiguity structure to using an inverse distance weight matrix, we see that Moran's eye can change. So the x values haven't changed at all, but the value of autocorrelation that we measure has gone down to 0 0.75. And at the same time, our z-score has increased. Our z-score has gone up to 162. So we can see that the analysis that we conduct is very sensitive to this weight matrix. Typically, we won't see, say, vast differences. So significant, you know, uh, you don't see huge changes in Moran's eye but big enough that we have to realize that the value of Moran's I that we do report on is very much tightly related to our choice of W. Moran's I is also sensitive to scale issues. Rather than using dissemination areas, those small little block groups, we can use a larger neighborhood definition called the census subdivision. In this case, all that's changed is the level of aggregation used in our spatial units. And here we see that Moran's I drops, say, from 0 0.75 to 0 
So it's still significant and it's still positive, but we definitely see that Moran's eye is also sensitive to the level of aggregation used. In fact, it's probably even more sensitive to the level of aggregation than it is to our selection of how we define the W matrix.